Google's Nano Banana just changed AI filmmaking forever. This is the tool you've been looking for that lets you do anything and take your projects to an insane production value. Imagine uploading a single image to Nano Banana and spinning it into countless camera angles all with an amazing character consistency that cannot be matched by any other tool out there at the moment. Trust me, this is a true game changer and if you're not using it, you're already falling behind. I'm gonna show you how you can take a base image and how to build an entire consistent scene step by step. And just to throw in a surprise for you, do you see these videos here on the screen? You can actually make these videos from the images that you're generating with Nano Banana. This is truly mind blowing. Needless to say, I'm gonna show you how to take everything to the next level and create similar videos to these ones. All you have to do is watch the whole video. At first, I thought it was a meme or just some weird internal joke. But no, this is real and it's official. It's not a fruit, it's the name of Google's brand new AI image generator. Officially, it's called Gemini 2.5 Flash Image and it might be the most powerful image tool that I've ever seen. Let me show you how it works. Let's take this photo of myself, for example. Go to the Gemini website, make sure that 2.5 flash is selected. This is gonna be the base for Nano Banana. The best part about it is that you can use natural language just like you would tell me something. For example, turn the laptop into a puppy. It takes literal seconds. I know you're already used with waiting minutes, but in this case, it's gonna take seconds. And there you go, there's our puppy. Just look at the character consistency. It looks pretty much identical. Let's give it another interesting prompt. Change the puppy to a banana. Now, the banana should be smaller than a puppy. There you go, here's the banana. Character consistency, it's on point again. As you can see right here, I'm holding the banana up. In the original initial picture, my laptop was covering this part of the furniture. So right now my hand is up, so I'm still seeing some stuff in here and as you can see this stuff is very similar to what I already have behind myself on the furniture these these things that are here these decorations are very similar to the ones that Nano Banana generated let's upload a picture of myself and just give it a simple prompt such as put me in a Mercedes S500 2024 and there you go Mercedes S500 this is me I'm taking a picture I'm looking back looks like I'm taking a selfie or someone has taken a picture of me from the back it looks amazing now a very cool thing to do with Nano Banana is to give it a prompt to change the angle from which the photo was taken. Change the angle from the side of the car. And there you go, the S500, this is me. Character consistency is on point, that looks like me. This is exactly how the S500 seats look like. This is the car from the outside. Everything looks perfect and even has reflections as you can see right here. Character consistency looks absolutely amazing. Put a pair of aviator sunglasses on me. Let's see, change the background to Times Square, New York. And there you go, now we're in Times Square, New York. Take this shot from an aerial view. And there you go, this is Times Square, this is me, and that the character consistency still stays in the frame, that's me. This is the Mercedes S500, same color, same seat color, everything is the same, it's just that the, the angle of the photo is changed now. Now you may be wondering, why is this such a big deal? Because until now, image generation has been a trade-off. You either get speed or you get quality. Now we can get both with Nano Banana. Next up, you either get consistency, either you get creativity. Tools such as Midjourney are very good at generating images, but they are very bad at editing those images. And that's where Nano Banana just comes in and says, why not have all of it? You get speed, sometimes even three seconds per render. You get consistency, as you've probably already seen in the examples that I gave you. You get control, because you can do edits without damaging the photo. And you also get flexibility. You can merge multiple images into one. All right, next up, I'm using the same image of myself in the studio as a base. And the prompt is that I want a retro style photo of me sitting in an office, looking directly at the camera, 90s corporate office cubicle. This is the result. Pretty good, right? Next up, I told it to give me a beard. And this is the result. Looks stunning. Next up, I said, put a banana on the screen instead of the YouTube logo. It followed the prompt perfectly. Then I told it to give me an even bigger beard. I told it to make my hair messy. This is my messy hair. Then I told it to put a banana banana in my hand, I'm showing the banana to the camera while I'm being angry, and there you go. And finally, I told it to replace me into a hobo because I want to get out of the office, replace the shirt with a dirty tank top. This is the final result. This is pretty impressive. Just an example, I want to show you how this turns out if you're doing it with ChatGPT, for example. I uploaded one of the pictures that Nano Banana just gave me, and I'm just going to give it a very simple task. Put a banana in my hand. Now, mind you, Nano Banana already did this, and it looks absolutely stunning. It took like five seconds. So ChatGPT is getting started. It's already been more than one minute. And one thing that ChatGPT is usually struggling with is character consistency. It usually cannot create something that's similar to the first base picture. 
there's literally been four minutes so far and ChatGPT still gives us the same status, which is getting started. Now, one eternity later, it actually put a banana in my hand, but look at my face. This is not me. It looks a bit like myself, but it changed the hairstyle, it changed my glasses, it changed everything. It changed my hair color. Nothing looks like myself. And if I were to give it another prompt right now, something like, make me smile. This is gonna take another five minutes and the result will be nothing like the original. This is how the final result looks with ChatGPT. This is already nothing like myself. You see, this is where NanoBanana excels at. Needless to say, the community has gone wild. On Reddit, people are saying, this is crazy good. Google just raised the bar. On Discord, artists are shocked by how it nails consistency. Medium articles are calling it the final boss of image editing. And even skeptics admit that this is not just another copy of Mid Journey. This is a real leap forward. Of course, there are still quirks. Sometimes it messes up hands or gets a bit weird if the prompt is too vague. Now let's think about what this means. Nano Banana is not just a fun toy. For businesses, for example, this is a game changer. Imagine you're running an e-commerce store. You take one product photo and Nano Banana can instantly generate 50 different styles. Let's actually try it out. Generate a hyper-realistic perfume bottle called Taft. This is how it initially looks like, which is already amazing. Place the Taft writing on the middle of the bottle. And boom, there you go. This is how it looks like. Now, the thing is that I do not like the writing this way. So all you have to do is just give it a prompt. I want the writing to be from left to right, expanding horizontally from left to right on the vertical middle of the bottle. And there you go. This is how it looks like. Now, after you get the final product, you can give it an even crazier prompt, such as take the same perfume and put it in the hands of a blonde female in a red dress with red lipstick posing for the camera. Now, I gave it an even more impressive impressive prompt, which is make her walk on a busy New York street and hold the perfume bottle in one hand, showing it to the camera. There you go. It's exactly the same person showing the perfume in one hand. It's the same perfume. Character consistency is the same. She's on a busy New York street. This could go on and on. Just think about the potential for e-commerce stores. Let's take another example. Let's think about game developers. It's easier by the day to develop a game nowadays. If you want a full guide into how you can build a game from scratch and launch it, drop a comment below saying game. Back in the day, it used to take days to create a character. And chances were that that character is not good enough. Nowadays, with the help of Nano Banana, we can create an actual video game character in a few minutes. Go on ChatGPT and say, give me a prompt for a fluffy, mischievous creature that will be the main character in a 3D game. This is the prompt. Put the prompt in there and click enter. It's literally going to take five seconds. And there you go. We have our first concept image with two different colors. Let's say you don't like this. You don't even have to give it a different prompt. You just have to click on this button. That's gonna redo everything. Five seconds later, we already have a new one. Let's say we kind of like this, but we don't like a few details. Remove the ear piercings and make the fluffy creature yellow. There you go. No piercings and yellow. Give it a baseball bat as a weapon. There you go. There's your baseball bat. Put some barbed wire around the baseball bat. All right, let's say we like this creature and we want to have a counterpart. Let's say this is a female one and we want to have a male one. All right, this looks good. Let's give it a final prompt. Now put them both on a tree branch looking like a team. 12 seconds later, this is the end result. Needless to say, I've played with this for hours. I'm gonna leave you the results here on the screen. I really need your opinion in the comment section. Make sure to drop a comment below. Tell me what do you think about this? Let's say we have a funny little drawing. You can just put that drawing in and tell Gemini, turn this into a fairy tale scenario based on my drawing. That's the drawing. That's how good am I at drawing. Literally eight seconds later, this is the result. I mean, it, it kind of looks like the original. Let's be real guys, this might be the iPhone moment for image creation. We've had plenty of models before. We've had hype cycles, we've had meme tokens, we've had wild demos, but Nano Banana is different because it solves the main problem, consistency. We always laughed at AI for giving people six fingers or just forgetting how your dog looked like after two prompts, but now this is gone because Nano Banana absolutely nails it. Now, the next natural step would be for Google to help us integrate all of our work from Nano Banana into a video. Until that happens, that's not possible yet with Google, but in the beginning of the video, I promised you that I'm gonna show you how to do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Now for that, you can use a tool such as Leonardo.ai. By the way, we are not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. We're just using them because they are good. 
you can feel free to use them or use a similar tool. On video, make sure to have the model selected as VO3. Click on this icon right here and click on start frame. That is going to be your starting image. And you can type it a prompt such as make the person kiss the puppy. Let's click generate. And this is the output that VO3 gave us. It looks very good. Character consistency is not necessarily on point. This doesn't look 100% like me. It's similar to me. It looks very good. The motion looks good. The shadows look good. E everything, everything looks the way I'm holding the puppy, everything looks good. It's not perfect though, yet. Let's use another example. Let's take the hobo version of myself that I created with Nano Banana. Use that as the first frame. Make this person go crazy, throw that banana at the wall and rage quitting the office. All right, let's see. <laughs> I'm throwing the banana and I'm getting out of there. Screw the corporate life. I don't wanna do this anymore. This is very consistent. Like everything looks perfect. Everything looks perfect. I'm angry, I'm throwing the banana at the wall. I'm catching another banana and throwing that one. It's like, everything looks good. Besides the fact that I have for some reason two bananas and it's a bit wobbly, but the hair, the beard, the dirty tank top, everything is pristine. The beard is staying the same. Even when my beard touches my chest, it falls. I mean, everything looks absolutely perfect. And there are some details, for example, these papers that normally in the image, in the base image, they are hidden, right? They are covered with my head. And in the video, I'm getting out of there. Look at the papers. They are not even copy and pasted. They are different papers. So the AI knew that it had to replace that. And even this dossier right here, these this pile of documents right here, even they are added there. Absolutely amazing, guys. So yeah, Nano Banana might have a silly name, but make no mistake, as this is very serious. Google just entered a big boy race, and everyone else, OpenAI, Midjourney, Stability, they are on notice. If you're a creator, an artist, or a business owner, or just someone who loves playing with AI. AI, you really need to keep an eye on this because right now Google's Nano Banana is not just another AI tool. It's the start to something bigger and the beginning of what's about to happen. So what do you think? Is Nano Banana the game changer that we think it is? Will Google finally beat Mid Journey at its own game? Are we about to see AI content that's indistinguishable from reality? Let me know in the comments, guys. I really wanna hear your thoughts. If you've enjoyed this review, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel because you will be among the first ones who will receive notifications when we are posting something new. Check out There's an AI for that, biggest website for AI tools in the world. And if you really love AI, subscribe to our newsletter and join close to 2 million people that have done so.